Hello everyone, in this video I will explain how to use ZigBee USB stick in place of proprietary gateway and place it all in Docker. Addition of sensors into home automation software like Home Assistant and Domatis will be shown. Currently on the market are available different USB sticks. I will focus on CC2531, which can be bought on AliExpress, eBay and other places. But the idea and instructions will be similar to provided. Those sticks support pretty large sensor list. And there is what to choose from. Short intro into MQTT to better understand what and why is configured. MQTT main feature is publish and subscribe module. It defines two types of entities in the network, a message broker and a client. The broker is a server application that receives all messages from the clients and then routes those messages to relevant destinations. A client is anything that can interact with the broker to send and receive messages. A client could be an IoT sensor in the field or an application that processes data. When client connects to the broker, it's able to subscribe to any messages, so-called topics, in the broker, or publishes messages under a topic by sending the messages and topic to the broker. The broker then forwards the messages to all clients. The structure which we will build in Docker looks like that. USB stick will connect and receive information from Zigbee sensors. ZigBee 2 MQTT service will bridge events to MQTT protocol and publish them in Mosquito MQTT broker. ZigBee 2 MQTT assistant will subscribe and be used as a web interface for ZigBee 2 MQTT service. Home automation software like Domatis and Home Assistant will subscribe to MQTT broker and receive sensor information for their use. Requirements for this setup are as follows. ZigBee USB adapter like CC2531 should be flashed with coordinator firmware. It can be bug already flashed or it's possible to flash it on your own. Of course, some supported ZigBee sensor to read data from and some PC with installed Docker and Docker Compose CLI applications. Configuration preparation starts with plugging USB stick into USB port and looking where system mapped it. It was mapped on USB 1.6 with device name TTI ACM 0. Then device permissions and user IDs should be checked. All this information will be required to run containers with according permissions. Now containers can be run with default config to create configuration files. Here are three services defined. Zigbee 2 MQTT this is the ZigBee 2 MQTT bridge, which will use previously shown USB stick. ZigBee 2 MQTT assistant, which will be used as a web interface for the ZigBee 2 MQTT bridge. And Mosquito, which will play MQTT broker role. All services will use user-defined network ZigBee. That will ensure possibility to use service names instead of IP addresses. Now it's possible to run the services. All containers created. State is up, so all good. In the case of problem, logs can show what is wrong. Here we can see which configuration file is used by Mosquito and that IP6 address isn't available. Zigbee 2 MQTT logs show that it's unable to connect to the broker. ZigBee 2 MQTT Assistant also is unable to connect to broker. All that is expected behavior with default configuration. Now folders can be created to store configuration files and later map to containers. In Mosquito to point versions end up, you must choose your authentication options explicitly before any client can connect. In earlier versions, default was to allow all clients without any authentication. In our case, version higher than two point is used, so we'll generate a password file. Now all the configuration files and password can be copied in previously created folders. After that, all the containers can be stopped and removed since they aren't required. Those configuration files after edit will be used to run services. In Mosquito configuration file basically will configure a few parameters. That's the socket domain, will define specifically IPv4 support and password file, which was previously generated. 
In Zigbee Bridge configuration, we we'll mark Home Assistant as a true, since we will use it later. We'll define custom topic name. Zigbee Bridge will publish data with this topic name. Server is a Mosquito Broker address. Service name can be used in place of address. Username and password should be the same as provided in password file. Device name is already correct. Then network key should be added. It will be used for Zigbee communications. Optionally, word generate can be used. That will generate key on the first run automatically. Configurations file are ready and now it's required to update service definitions. Zigbee 2 MQTT service will use previously created folder with configuration files. User is defined to have correct permissions. For simplicity, Zigbee 2 MQTT assistant will be configured with the environment variables. And the service exposed on the port 8888. Mosquito Broker will also use previously created folder with configuration file. Configurations finished and services can be initiated. And Bridge Assistant can be opened through the web interface. Assistant shows coordinator, that's our USB stick. However, Bridge Info and Bridge Logging are an existing topics, it's a known issue. Currently sensors are allowed to join the Zigbee network. We'll reset my sensor and after some time it will appear in this interface. It's required to wait some time to see all the metrics which are available for this particular sensor. Basic configuration is ready and now it's possible to add home automation software. We'll proceed with the domatis. Create the configuration folder and add service definition into the file. Linux server image will be used since it allows to configure service with the environment variables. For the future use, configuration files will be mapped into the created folder. Service will be exposed on the 8080 port. Now we can run Domatis service. Default configuration folders will be created. And into plugin folder we will copy Zigbee to MQTT plugin. It will add support for the Zigbee to MQTT bridge. If Git tool isn't available, it's possible to copy archived file from the web page. Now it's required to restart Domati service and we can proceed to a web interface. As defined, Domati service resides on port 8080. Currently it has default config and no sensors are defined. Zigbee bridge should be added as a hardware. Let's define some name and add entry. With previously defined broker credentials, and bridge topic. All the defined hardware appears in custom menu. Here you can see all the equipment which is managed by this particular hardware. Previously discovered sensor is seen and all supported metrics are provided. Only required metrics can be added to the dashboard. Here we can see sensor logs and also configure notifications to our favorite application. That was the basics of addition the bridge into Domotis. Now we'll proceed with addition of Home Assistant into the service list. For simplicity, default Docker volumes will be used. Service will be exposed on 8123 port. Run the service, check operations and open web interface. On a first run, user definition is required. We'll proceed with the default params. To be able to see Zigbee bridge sensors, integration should be added. We'll add MQTT integration and provide previously defined broker credentials. Congrats, we found our sensor. Now we can choose integration devices and look onto device info and provided entities. Here different kind of automations can be defined for this particular sensor. That was the basics of addition Zigbee Bridge into the Home Assistant. If you liked the content, hit like, comment and see you in the next video.